So I took this out uh, last night to uh, try it with the highest gearing, just to see if a little bit of throttle assist would uh, would help with the a normal speed of pedalling. So that was with uh, a 32 on the front and a 14 on the back. So it's pedalling away at 18, 20 miles an hour, added a bit of throttle. Okay, no problem. And then it stopped. Hmm. So I had to ride it home. Not a big deal really, I suppose, but a uh, bit inconvenient. A bit concerning as well as to whether I'd fried a controller. And of course, when it didn't work afterwards uh, at all, even resetting the controller and relearning it still didn't work. So what was the problem? Hmm, well, here we go. Here's the problem. Um, I had these gathered together. Um, just with this one. Just keep them out of the way, the pedals. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, it seems that uh, with the uh, opening the throttle at uh, a high gear in, you'd have been pulling uh, maximum amps, so these would have got a bit hot. And, uh, yeah, they'd melted together and um, shorted. Anyway, uh, they... The controller now works, so I uh, haven't done any damage to the controller, so it's protected itself. Um, so I'm going to replace these phase wires completely, all the way back, um, with something a bit chunkier. Uh, possibly not too chunky, but um, I think it's uh, four mil that I've got. Anyway, while we're about it, I shall take off this cover and uh, have a little look at uh, what's inside it. And you can see how it was converted. Now these are dead easy to convert. These are uh, from a, a Rover or a, a Land Rover, Rover 75, this sort of thing. It's a Nippon Denso. And can I get this off one handed? Ooh, no, no, no. Let's try the other hand. I'm going to let the screwdriver out in a minute. Oh, I felt it go. There we go. So it's just a little, uh, very thin, flimsy little cover. Right, business end. So what you've got in here is uh, the three phase connections. Uh, one, the bottom here. Then you've got the common. Then you've got two and three. And all these are, it's uh, the insulated wire is pulled out and crimped. And I've just taped these up. And there's a little rubber peg. Um, which would normally sit behind the regulator rectifier. Um, so what I've done is I've hot glued the uh, pegs in just to sort of locate them a little bit better and then uh, bolted up the wire and just put a bit of insulation on. Um, then you've got the, the little slip ring brush block. Can't really see that very well in the, uh, the light maybe. Um, and I've just, again, hot glued that on. But what happens with that is it sits against the back case. And you've got this little uh, rubber piece that just sits there. I forget which way it goes now. It doesn't really matter. It'll go back together. So when you put the case on, it holds it all together. Um, so that's fine. So it's only the hot glue is just to locate it, really. Uh, okay, so the common, uh, you've got all three sets of the coils going into the common. Um, so it's as simple as that. You don't have to, have to do any wiring on this. So all you need to do is take off the uh, regulator rectifier, which is this little beast, which goes there. Just slips straight off on, uh, on some bolts. Uh, I think there's a couple of extra bolts for the brush housing there, just by my finger. Um, so they obviously have to come away. And um, yeah, I've just uh, soldered, and then I think I've hot glued this, just part of gluing this thing on, um, the armature windings, just out to uh, live and neutral, and uh, bolted the three wires on, didn't have to do anything with the common, that was just as it is, uh, and put the cover back on, and off we went, we now have a motor. So. Uh, there we go. So we'll um, rewire and uh, no harm done. We'll try again.